Georgia is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Ah! He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Illegal touching. Offense. Got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Caught and he's hit immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And he's level at the 37. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside. Defense. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. He makes it to the 38-yard line. A gain of a yard and the quarterback keeper. That brings us second and nine. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He gets sacked on the play. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. get this one off and it's a beauty fielded at the 19 he's to the 40 across midfield oh it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle georgia's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road i think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk and i think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory I, you know I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that you see teams circle the wagons and I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game from the 36 yard line second down the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick, and the coach is talking to his quarterback after that quick three and out. He missed on all his passes and really seemed out of sync with his receiver. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Georgia could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. 
Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Mark 55, Mark 55. Caught and big hit there to stop it. Make the stop at the 30. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Three down, three down. Georgia is up a field goal. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of four yards. That brings them second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 32. Quick throw, and he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That's a gain of four on the way. That'll make it 31. play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Lucky 95! Lucky 95! Zips it to the back. Brought down around the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 44. The ball pops free. They fall on it. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Five wide. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Number 52 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Black heel kill! And he's taken down at the 17. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. They'll spread the field with five wide. Hey, kill, kill, kill! kill. kill. Black Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Taken down at the two. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Bulldogs with a three-point lead. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Larry, Larry. Black ball! 
tackled for a loss. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do is to touchdown volunteers. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. converts the extra point. It was a six-play, 34-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Tennessee is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. Quick pass, and down he goes around the 31-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. That's, That's a gain of eight on the play. play. That makes it first and ten. ten. Four down, four down. 45 the mic. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and nine. Bring him down for a sack on the play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. It's away and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 30-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tennessee holds a four-point lead. Fires across the middle, and he's tackled right away. That brings in second and nine. some daylight inside the 30 and they finally knock him out at the 25. Wow that was some run. It's worth the price of admission just to see this guy get into the open field. Keeps his eye on it makes the catch and he tackles him hard at the 13. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled at the six yard line. it off as he's hit. Complete. Touchdown, Vols.
Nice grab by the halfback for the touchdown. It was a short throw for the quarterback, but not easy. He made that play work. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half. Because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now. And they've got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's this is their week to take some of the pressure off him. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Here we go. Green 95. Green 95. And he is drilled at the 43. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They come out in a five-wide set. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. That makes it first and 10. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. That's a D-12 on the play. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry! Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Let's go! Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down right around the four-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Defense in their short yardage package. Tackle made around the three-yard line. Rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Georgia to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tennessee is up by eight. Strike to his receiver, no good. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. And he's leveled. 
the 38-yard line. Tennessee's going to take their first time out of the half. Makes a grab and steps out right away. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. To review, to review the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. From the 44-yard line, first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it, and he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He's out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 20-yard line. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Tennessee up by eight. Hit, hit, hit. That's a great tackle at the 13 yard line. Kill, kill. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Fires quick, he catches another. What a play, and that is first and goal. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. Tennessee's up by eight. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to the opponent's territory. Tackle there in space. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it so it's second down and about two yards to go. Short gain there by the tailback, and he's still going to come away with a first down. He worked hard to get that first down. It won't go down as much in the box score, but he got the couple yards that he needed. Let's go!
Here's an opening. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's good for a that makes it second and six. From their own 39 yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Check three, check three, check three. Makes it out to about the 49. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Oh, excellent putt. Little too much leg into that putt. They'll bring it out to the 20. We're about set to start things up again. Tennessee holds an eight-point advantage. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 19-yard line, second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And he's immediately tackled. That brings up fourth and three. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Five wide. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. That's a gain of 16 on the play. First down. From the 49-yard line, first down. Check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Motion, motion, black motion, 90, black 90. Motion, motion. He's at the 40. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 15 on the ball. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's at the 20, and down he goes at the 14. That's a gain of 20 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. 
Ball on the 14 yard line. Tackle right around the 18 yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. If you're looking for some solid north and south progress, you never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. The ball pops free, and they fall on the loose ball. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance tonight. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Tennessee is up by eight. caught for the 20 the 10 and a huge touchdown play nicely designed play to the wide receiver and it got him six you said it brad in a good time to call it i tip my hat to the offensive coordinator brad the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfect. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Volunteers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. They go with the run. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Handoff inside. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. From their own 25 yard line. Third down. And he tackles him hard at the 14 yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Volunteers in front, 21 6. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 41. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Got an opening. Good outside run there. He's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 41.
Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. From the 29 yard line, it's second down. No, 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 check that, check that. We got Mike 52 right here. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Number seven wins his down. Receivers got the first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 10 yard line. He fights forward to about the 10. No game. That makes it second and 10. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Where's 52? Watch 52. Hey, kill, 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 kill! Yellow, black three, three four, black two, four. one! Yellow, three, hit! Complete touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. He makes the PAT. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Volunteers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Here comes the pressure. Going deep, lays it out there. That close to being intercepted. Boy, this quarterback just continues to struggle. That was a pivotal down. On third down, they're trying to find a way to get a first down. Another incompletion, and now it's fourth down. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. I'm sure that touchdown on their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Receiver. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it in bounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. Easy, easy, Blair, Blair.
And he has it on the corner. And he's taken down at the eight. Great concentration to haul it in. That makes it 30 goal. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The kick is up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be <laughs> hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. It out. He's met immediately. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They've read it from the get-go. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. away and it's a booming punt. <laughs> the Bulldogs, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.